My strategy to take Gia out is show that I could do more than one style. Ready? I want line work, I want realism. I think it's a unique design for sure. If I beat Gia, I get on Ink Master season 10. That's a huge deal. To anyone who doubted me in the past, it means everything. How's it going over here? I've been playing it safe, so I'm gonna be a little ballsy this round, I think. In size or in style? Both. It's very symbolic, because he didn't want like a bird. He wanted something that symbolizes something. I wanted to take that and implement an artistic edge to it. Piano is kicking ass right now. I don't think I've ever seen her move that fast. They're doing like two completely different styles. Gia statue, it's a crazy cool image, huh? It actually has like the bird head in there and everything with the yeah. cool clock. Is I that a clock like, in there? Right now, I can't really tell. Two hours left. Two hours. Diana has these sort of trash polka like points coming down, yeah. but they're not solid black. It's kind of tough to pick out what's a design point and what's a smear, and she doesn't execute that perfectly. It's literally just gonna look sloppy. Yeah. Equally as concerning, Gia is having a really hard time with the live crowd. It's definitely slowing her down. Five, four, three, two, one. That's it, stop tattooing! Thanks for the art. Thanks for sitting so much. It's beautiful. Thank you! That is awesome. Thank it's you It's a so very much. positive phoenix. Absolutely. All right, you guys, come take a look at these tattoos because voting is now open. So I feel like it's really neck and neck. When it comes to design and style, I'm personally leaning towards Deanna. I feel the opposite. I think the difference is that Gia's tattoo has focal points. You look right at the jewel, right at the bird. Deanna's tattoo, you're not sure what you're looking at. Gia's is an illustration that tells a story. That's not the type of tattoo that Deanna was going for. She decided to make the entire thing more design-oriented. It was kind of sort of this attempt at a few different styles that clashed together. I would rather wear Deanna's. The votes are in. <laughs> on the line, if Deanna wins, she is going to secure her spot on Ink Master season 10. <laughs> it was a split decision. The Angels voted for Gia Rose. The local artists, you guys voted for Deanna. And all of you guys, our amazing crowd, voted for... Deanna. <laughs> guys, that means that Deanna has secured a spot on Ink Master season 10. Congratulations! All right, you guys have six hours to tattoo. And your time starts now. My design is Detail City. I don't know what else to do other than put everything I have into this design and every trick. Is it a memorial bracelet? Yeah, bro. Memorializes uh, my soldier that was killed in combat. I actually named my son after Chris. Would you want to put in maybe his initials? That would be amazing, bro. I want to give him 110%. I want to make sure that he gets everything, if not more, of what he wanted. Having this that, is it, dude. Yeah. This is it. I'm hungrier for it than I ever Oozlefinch has been repeating in my head over and over again. And Oozlefinch might be one of the weirdest requests I've ever gotten. And there is nothing I love more in this world than weird All right, this... here we go. Yeah. Already amazing. You're like, that looks great. Are we done? <laughs> Sparks, his tattoo is bold. It's crazy. Right. The composition is great. It screams like 
patriotic. This guy is in there and he's at war and he's slain. Exactly. I think Kelly's design is super hard to read. I agree. But he picked one of the best artists in this industry. Like, Kelly could just come out on top. You don't know. Both yeah. tattoos are going to look so yeah. different. It's going to be a hard decision. Yep. How's it going over here? Uh, just working on time management. You still working on the outline? Yeah. Lines have to be absolutely perfect. Perfection isn't quick, right? Exactly. Sparks' line work is beautiful. It is some of the cleanest we've seen in this entire competition. But I have to talk about the design. There's a lot of backwards ass in that tattoo. The feet and the wings on the dragon being backwards. Yes. But I do have to say, I love the design, aside from the anatomical issues. The readability issue may change based on how he colors it in. That being said, the legs are still going to be backwards on the dragon. Yep. The only thing that can really save him is if he does a perfect tattoo, and Kelly doesn't. I just saw something I needed to fix. I'm having to rush. That's what sucks. Let's get these funky colors in there, man. Best work, man. I think Kelly killed it. Kelly crushed it. The saturation is perfect, and I love how much texture she threw in. It looks like real bumpy, goosey chicken skin. She did a damn near perfect tattoo here. Sparks had a really good idea. The biggest thing that's killing me is that backwards claw. But that line work is debatably some of the best line work I've seen in my career. We're going to have to make the right choice here. Yep. Now remember, if Sparks beats Kelly, he will secure a spot on Ink Master Season 10. It was a split decision. The Angels voted for... Kelly Doty. Our amazing crowd voted for Sparks. And our local artists voted for Sparks. That means the winner of the Angel Face Off is Sparks. Now! Does that look good to you? Looks good to me. It's beautiful. This is going to be awesome. Excited for it. I'm going in today doing black and gray again. I know it's a huge risk. Like, I'm a one-trick pony, but that's my strong point, so I got to deliver. This is a style I've been working on for the last seven years. If I get beat today, out the window. So what do you like about Kelly's? The road pops off so much. Yeah, I can't tell what it is right now. TJ's using that negative space so clearly. There's a contrast there. You can see a definite it's a contrast. Harsh contrast. Yes, and this hers one's is muddy. Kelly's no, hers is muddy. Is delicate. Five, four, three, two, one. That's it. Stop tattooing. All right, here we go. Oh my god. It was a dark place, but I feel like this really shows that I've come out of it. Thank you. Oh, you're very welcome. This is one of the toughest decisions yet. We're judging two damn near perfect tattoos. I love Kelly's design with all of the different painterly strokes, the watercolor look of some of the splashes. But because her color palette is so muted, I just don't see that strong punch of contrast next to TJ's tattoo that is so dynamic because of such a harsh contrast. I love that he did a really 
bright side of the face and that really strong shadow. But we're still not taking the background into consideration. He could have made his background take the shape of petals coming off of the daisies. We're gonna have to just tally up all the pros and cons of each. We have to figure it out. All right, Charlotte, how you guys feeling? <laughs> If TJ can beat Kelly, he secures his spot on Ink Master. The decision was unanimous. <laughs> and the winner of the Angel Face-Off is... TJ Poole. <laughs> hours to tattoo, and your time starts now. Cool. There we go. Basically, I set myself up so there's no room for error. There's a lot of detail, and I haven't even picked my color choices yet. I don't even know what colors we're doing. I just know what I'm starting with. I think you're doing like, what, six different styles of tattooing in here? A lot of the pattern work comes from her son's sketchbook. So I pulled from the book and just did a little bit of my version. Wow. That's beautiful. This isn't just for my canvas right now, it's for her son. I am tattooing for both of them. Five, four, three, two, one. That's it, stop tattooing. You got every aspect of him in here. And every day I have a reminder that he's with me. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> They're both stunning pieces. Design-wise, I'm a little more impressed by Nikki's and its simplicity. The way she was able to make an angel wing still look strong. She was able to beautifully render all of the highlights in those difficult planes of a human face. She does it effortlessly. But then you look at Tony's composition, and he knows tattooer tricks. He made a figure eight, and it draws you all the way around. It's exactly that type of shape that should be on the back of the cast. Tony really went above and beyond to add specific hand-drawn elements into that tattoo that his canvas's son drew himself. The meaning behind it is so powerful. I honestly, I have no idea how to judge this right now. What's up, Reno? Are you guys ready to find out who won? Secure a spot on Ink Master. The decision was split. The Angels voted for Nikki Simpson. And you guys, our amazing Reno crowd, voted for Tony. Our local artists voted for... Tony. That means the winner of the Angel Face-Off is Tony! You have six hours to tattoo, and your time starts now. I got a new fan club over here. Yeah. That's not gonna happen today, did you? I figured. Right. I've met me, I'm pretty, I'm pretty uh, awesome. Yes, it lines up perfectly. Yeah. Okay. Right, it's a tough one. She's a beast. I haven't done a tattoo like this in a long time. That's why it's gonna be sad to beat her. It's okay. now or never. Holy pride, holy pride. There it is. Yeah! Portland loves me, but this is a small pond. I'm a big fish, and I need to make my way to the ocean. Ink Master is the Pacific Ocean. I've sharpened my skills for 10 years to win this competition today. It's gonna look so pretty when she's done. Yes. 
How you doing over there? Are you talking to me? No, I was talking to her. Oh. I wasn't sure if you were taking a break from jerking yourself off over there. Oh. Never take a break from that. Ever. I'm like my biggest fan. I know you've just been busy tooting your own horn, you know what I'm saying? I gotta have someone do it. Why does everybody think this mother is superstar? I mean, fake it till you make it. <laughs> Oh my god. What's up? Oh my god, it hurts every time you touch it. Just hang out. Don't work, don't stress on it, okay? My canvas is not sitting well. She's moving a lot. Every time I touch her, she twitches. Oh, son of a bitch. If I can't pull out all the stops, there's no way I'm gonna beat an ink master. Oh my god. Oh my god, I can't. This is freaking me out. Ooh. You only have one more. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh. Ow! Okay, okay, you gotta stop. You have to stop. I'm done. I'm done. I didn't have the opportunity to put all the details and embellishments into this tattoo that I wanted to, but I can't tattoo anymore. The Ink Master is over there beating my ass now, and I'm just over here twiddling my thumbs. That looks really good. Love it? Yeah, I do. Success, anyways. I love the fact that he's not touching it no more. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right, Portland, are you ready to find out who won? <laughs> if Austin beats Ryan, that means he secures his spot on Ink Master. <laughs> And the decision was unanimous. The winner of the Angel Face-Off is... I can only sweat so much. Austin. This is just the beginning. I want to become an ink master. I know it's not going to be easy, but I've never been scared of hard work. Congrats. Thank you. I'm happy you won, and I am so excited to see what they have in store for you. Yeah, I'm sure you are. <laughs> <laughs>